We started the first competition at the High Performance Gym, now at Brooks Lane, Bench Press. That was won by a guy who's lifting tonight, who lifted a phenomenal 185 kilograms on the bench press. Not many people can do that in Britain, let alone in Guernsey. Tonight, it's a different lift. The lift is deadlift. Now, you'll all have seen weightlifting on television where you are taking a body here and jerking it over here. We're not doing that. We're doing deadlift and deadlift where you take the bar from here to there. In terms of refereeing, the bar must stop on the way back. The lifter's got to get his shoulders back and his knees locked. And when it's there, then puts the bar down. But he's got to keep the bar under control as it goes down. It's a very, very simple lift. It is the lift which is a real test of leg strength, quadriceps, glutes, and the back. It is the lift by which you can lift actually more weight than any other weight training exercise. And it's an exercise which serious sports people, rugby players, athletes and what have you, do on a very regular basis. Tonight we've got uh, five lifters and I've asked them to come on the platform please and I'll introduce them one at a time. First of all, I'd like to introduce Chad Sweet. Uh, Chad is a police officer, he's a member of the Storm Force Fitness Club in uh, the Smithfield in town. He's only been training for 18 months. This is very much his first competition. Chad Sweet. <laughs> Secondly, I'd like to introduce Gary Prio. Gary is 40, he's a security engineer. Uh, works on fire alarms, access, access codes, and so on. Um, again, this is his first uh, actual competition. Gary Greer. <laughs> the man who set up Storm Force Fitness, John the Top. His club, which he started up first of all at the Cricket Centre, now in Smith Street, is one of the premier places in the country. In Guernsey for weight training. Paul would say outside this club, I don't know about that. <laughs> but he, he set up his club and won one of the Guernsey awards for that in the way it was run, etc. Et uh, John uh, is 31 years of age. He does a lot of weight training, but he's mainly coaching at his own club. Um, in fact, Broke his spine, fractured his spine very badly at 17. So to be still lifting weights is said something about John Tom. I think we've got a few supporters who still want to speak. Next we have Drain Ridley. Drain is a security officer in the island, 29 years of age. He's done a lot of serious lifting this time. But he hasn't trained for quite some time, so three weeks training for this. Some of his poundages are phenomenal. But he told me, being very honest at the beginning, those were when he was training very, very hard uh, up until about two years ago, and he hasn't trained much since. But it's great to see you tonight. <laughs> and finally, we've got a guy called Steve Woods. I've never met Steve Woods in my life until January the 26th, when we first put on the bench press competition down at the high performance gym. Starting boundages, he came up and said, I'll do 165. I said, Steve, 165 kilos. Are you certain about that? <laughs> right? Came in. Now, I've been around in weightlifting for, since I was 17. And that includes British Championships, European Championships, World Championships. For a guy in Guernsey to do a 165 like that was just awesome. He ended up doing 185 kilos. In my language, that's 407 pounds, which was not only beat the Channel Islands record, built by a guy in Jersey, it also beat the South of England record. So, Steve Woods. Starting pounds, Jennifer, is 160, please. So, 
Lift is if you move out of the way and uh, you notice we get that set up.